as someone who was jailed for 10,000 years, Illidan became a jailer himself for none other than the strongest being ever in the entire universe, Sir Gilles. However, since that point he has been missing and we have not heard of him anything since, literally for around 6 years. Well. Now in Dragon Fight, that might just begin to change. His own brother Malfurion is going to play an important role, as well as Tyranda. The Titans are hinted to be incredibly important, as through the Titans, Sergeras is relevant again as well. And guess who is the jailer of Sergeras? So is Illidan's return possible, and how could it all play out? Is he one of those in case of emergency break the glass type characters for Blizzard? So before we get into this video, I'd like to show you guys something super cool and that is the sponsor of this video, the Ridge Wallet. Now, they've sent it to me years ago and it's literally the only wallet I've used. I'm not gonna bore you guys too much, it is just sleek, elegant, you can fit up to 12 cards here, you can put cash on the side and there is really not that much to it. Recently, they also released key cases, so you can check that out as well. Now, make sure to use my link in the description and the code DORON and you can get 10% off. Before we get into it, I'm not just randomly out of the blue making a video about Illidan being relevant with literally nothing to back it up but my own speculations. There are actually some really relevant hints to the characters involved in Dragonflight that are technically tied to Illidan as a character and those can really be kind of broken into two major points. One point is his own brother and his never returned love to Randa and the second one is the person he is currently jailing and supposedly saving the universe from Sargeras and both of these points are incredibly relevant to the current topic at hand. Keep in mind there are definitely some spoilers ahead in regards to the story development although it's not even that far ahead as with some of the leaked campaigns for the beta we learned that this will more than likely be happening as soon as 10.0 as we had seen from the chapter names. Long story short Ysera the green dragon aspect is returning in full glory and in turn Malfurion seems to be giving himself up to take her place. We don't know to what extent and whether he's really dying here or not because ever since the Shadowlands this has gotten incredibly confusing to say the least. I mean we literally are friends with the actual arbiter of the death realm and we're just kind of going into the afterlife and back non-stop so what does it even mean to die at this point in the Warcraft lore? So it is entirely possible that this change could just be a temporary type thing. On top of all of this Tyranda is set to play a role as well and to be incredibly important in Dragonflight. Well, Illidan is tied to both of these characters and there was a pretty interesting development in Legion when he became the Jailer, when people started realizing that Illidan is more of a type of a guy to do whatever it takes but he's not evil as his brother had previously believed. So there was a decent storyline of reconciliation between Malfurion and Illidan despite them being in conflict with each other pretty much since forever. Now. Interesting enough, there has always been that strange dynamic where Illidan always wanted to be with Tyranda, but he couldn't because of Malfurion, which was actually quite a source of this conflict. If Malfurion is really gone for good at this point, like permanently, there could be an entire arc where Illidan might take his place, not just with Tyranda, but overall as a leader of the Night Elves, as he is, after all, one of the most influential Night Elves ever if not the most influential one. Now, I'm not going too far ahead, this in itself is a relatively minor point, but the real chunk of the new info and the actual possibility of his return could be tied into all the recent changes to the lore of the titans, and while they are definitely a bit early at the moment, they really have the potential to change the story completely, like from the ground up. If you guys followed my most recent videos, you know I made a bunch of them, and I'm not going to go crazy repeating myself video after video, if you want more detailed information, just check out the previous ones I made. However, the big info is that the Titans are going to be given a spotlight and they're obviously going to be an important part of the new expansion. It is not just about dragons. This isn't just a speculation, but it has been heavily foreshadowed that it will be happening. First of all, even from the expansion cinematic itself, the entire thing was literally just about the titan machinery. The dragon aspects were literally created by the keepers. There is a bunch of new info from Oldeman where we learned that the dragons had been sort of forcefully converted from proto drakes into the dragons that we know of from the actual water supply. Furthermore, we learned from the titan keepers that they have literally been tailoring the known history and just like deleting significant chunks of it so that it fits their own narrative. So 
with this new lore, literally everything we know about until this point could be a complete and just utter lie. For example, we know they deleted a significant part of the Black Empire history and hid their advancements and purposefully painted them as just completely hellish beings. Now, <laughs> of course, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We had seen the old gods and their minions firsthand multiple times. They're not exactly nice guys, but let's just say the titans painted them like 10 times worse than they probably are realistically as in they're just all bad and there isn't a single redeeming quality about the void whatsoever furthermore they are apparently made sure to attribute all works of wonder and creation to the titans themselves and got all of us to see them as gods and hid from us the existence of the first ones as the true progenitors of everything now well, you may be thinking why is this actually relevant to illidan and the actual story and the topic of this video well, this really ties in with the Shadowlands where they started playing with the story of Sergeras by quite a bit. We learned that Sergeras was literally manipulated by the Shadowlands realm in order to start his Burning Crusade and to create the Burning Legion. However, at the same time, most of the information that we have about Sergeras, the Legion, his goals and everything else is also through a Titan perspective. Now, what if all of that has been a lie as well? After all, Sergeras literally defeated the Titans, so they're not exactly going to be very nice to him. They're now known to delete history, so why not delete this portion as well as, you know, that is really close to the core of the Titan Pantheon. Now, I'm not taking this out of proportion. We've had first-hand experience with Legion, so obviously they are quite evil. They want to kill us, they want to destroy us, and they're not exactly nice. But what if Sergeras is not even that different from the Titans? We know Sergeras split planets in half with his sword when they were corrupted by the old gods but check this out the titans on azeroth created a machinery to completely obliterate the entire planet if it got corrupted by the black empire and also hid the fact that they were a civilization of their own so literally just think about it what if sergeras was just one step ahead in the fanaticism he was a bit more direct and he didn't really go mad he just kind of went a step further now let's step away a bit from the crazy speculations and look at the most recent hints at the end of Shadowlands, the Jailer apparently wanted to unite the universe against this big evil that is to come. And one of his plans that was like thousands and thousands of years old was the corruption of Sergeras. Now, in the new Dragonfight animated series, Nuzdormu is literally telling us that some big crazy evil is coming that the Dracula are going to be important in. I know a lot of people hate this new lore. I personally hate it as well. But there is this puppet master behind the puppet master. But with all the hints, this really does seem to be the case. They started this in Shadowlands and obviously Zoval outsmarted Sergeras. However, Zoval wasn't even the ultimate villain and there was another guy behind the Jailer. So when you kind of look at it this way, when you zoom out a bit, you will see that Sergeras is just one of the villains and he's not nearly the big bad that we used to believe he was. So right now, Illidan is jailing him and maybe through their communication, he is set to learn the truth and maybe Sergeras might just be relevant in saving the universe from the actual evil and yeah guess who has the keys to Sergeras's prison Illidan furthermore Illidan and Sergeras are kind of similar as they have both been jailed for wanting to save the universe so there is definitely that part of the story as well honestly I doubt Sergeras is now just going to convert and become a savior of the universe but maybe Illidan could as he literally saved the universe once already since he has the buttons to Sergeras's prison he could literally channel his force or use his energy to do something against this big evil or or he may become some sort of a prophet as he could learn something we don't really know. Furthermore, the even more important point, and I guess this is a lot more important than the speculation, is that Illidan is a really iconic character, a Warcraft character, a character from DBC when WoW was near its peak, and a character from Legion when WoW had a really good period. So he could totally be one of those like in case of emergency break the illidan glass that could spark the interest in future expansions and world of warcraft in general and most importantly bring back the old players while it is definitely a bit too early to say and at the moment you aren't working with much here illidan's return could definitely be possible Thank you for watching, check out what could be the upcoming Dragonfly patches by clicking on the screen and check out the Rats Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time.